Hello YouTube. So I haven't done a view in a while. And I'm not gonna be doing probably very much more reviews on the iPod Touch unless it Joe broken reviews. I'm gonna start doing reviews on the Droid 2. So today I'm gonna show you the Liberty ROM and what it looks like on the Droid 2. So if you have a Droid 2 you know that this is not a normal lock screen. You have yellow lock icon and yellow sound and a lot of different things. So when you unlock it it's a lot different. It looks more like stock Android than it does the Moto Blur. So with this ROM you have five pages that you can put your apps and stuff on and yeah. You have to be rooted to get this. This is rooted as super user permissions. And you can see that while well, the icon changed back to stock Android. And another feature of this is themes. So if you go you have to get this app on the market, but if you go to Liberty Toolbox, you get this on the market for free, light version. You can actually change the theme. You can go to ROM Manager and you can download new ROMs. It's not loading right now because I'm on 3G, but if it was on 3G right now, when I would download ROM, it would show all these themes. Like you, you can get fonts, you can get basically anything where you theme it. You can make the drawer look like gingerbread really good if you have a droid, regular droid too, that doesn't have a finger bed yet. You can also go back and go into app management. I guess that may put your apps on the SD cards, you can get them off there. You can go to Liberty Mods, you can change your boot logo. I have mine set on this. You can also change it to all these. Yeah. Animations. I don't know what that is. I think it changes your boot animation, but I'm not quite sure. You can go in here, you can change your pull down bar, what the text on it, so this pull down bar if I would change it is say like make it say bin up there yeah so the boot options you can reboot boot in different ways you don't have to push the power button it's good for I don't really know what that's good for but yeah so if you're familiar with putting ROMs on, this will be really easy to put on your Joy 2, just Google. I actually go to like a Droid site, Droid 2 site, and you can find the ROM on there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And this does not have backup assistance on it, so what I did is you go into Gmail, you send all of your contacts to your Gmail and you can, when you get back into this, it's on Google, you download those VCF files which have your contacts on them, and you can get your contacts back on here. So yeah, see, I have all my contacts from there. Yeah. So, I will make a video on how to install ROM for those people who do not know how to get this. If you know how to get ROMs, it'll be pretty easy, but yeah, I'll make another video on how to get ROMs. So, bye, and please subscribe.